What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the San Diego Padres for San Francisco Giants. Major League Baseball matchup going down Thursday, March 28th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Well, let's get to this one between the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants. San Diego Padres already had a couple of games to shake off the rust, going 1-1 one and one in the Korea series with the Los Angeles Dodgers, losing the first game 5-2, to two, but winning the rematch 15-11. to 11. And now, go back home, and it's you, Darvish, getting the start once again. Darvish was on the, uh, the wrong end of that first game, losing that game 5-2. to two. Um, You know, it was uh, just a tough outing for, uh, for Darvish in that one. He didn't necessarily take the loss in that game. You know, he had three, three and two-thirds innings of, of uh, a, a two-hit ball gave up just an unearned run but uh still gave up three walks with three strikeouts in that start so definitely you know could be a lot better for you darvish considering he's probably expected to anchor a lot of this uh a lot of the starting rotation with blake snell gone now even though the padres did bring in dylan cease it still i would say leaves a fair bit for the um for the dodgers to try to excuse me for the padres to try to have to work through um you know this uh this padres team you know, last year, I think we're viewed by many as a team that was just, I would say, a little bit overrated. Um, but, you know, still, there's still some nice pieces for them going forward. It's just a matter of actually putting it all together and actually trying to defy those expectations. Meanwhile, the San Francisco uh, Giants, you know, coming in off of a, uh, a disappointing year in 2023 after, you know, winning the division title a couple years ago, uh, now gone to 79 and 83 last year. But the thing is that the San Francisco Giants made a lot of moves to uh, to, to keep things in house. I mean, you know, they they kept Mike Yastrzemski and Austin Slater in house. They went out and got Robbie Ray. They did trade away Mitch Haniger and Anthony Di Um, but you know, they did they made a nice move to bolster the rotation there. Kept Lamont Wade and Tyro Estrada. You know, they brought in uh, Jordan Hicks to help with that rotation as well as Matt Chapman. It's coming off a solid tenure in Toronto. And like I said, I mentioned Blake Snell leaving the Padres. Well, he stays within the division and goes to San Francisco to bolster this this uh, this rotation that's still rock solid. You know, got like guys like Alex Cobb, you know, uh, Logan Webb, who we'll talk about in a second. You know, Kyle Harrison was a nice nice uh, nice addition. Showed a lot of things in his in his few start, uh, abbreviated um, in his abbreviated tenure in his rookie year last year. Keaton Wynn is going to be a nice piece for him going forward as well. Like I said, adding Blake Snell, you know, perennial Cy Young conversationalist, you know, it's gonna, it's only gonna help this Giants team going forward. But now we get back to Logan Webb, who did have a decent year last year. He was a key key contributor for the um, for the Giants in 2023, and you know, last season it was like I said, a fairly solid campaign for uh, for Logan Webb. He went 11 and 13 with a 3.25 ERA. It was a lot better at home as he has been for the better part of his career. You know, to a 2.26 ERA at home last year compared to a 4.31 ERA on the road last year. He had a 1.0 ERA against the San Diego Padres, and until I see that the San Diego Padres are going to, you know, be able to step it up and, and rise to the occasion in a lot of spots, I don't really feel like jumping to 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 back this team in any way, shape, or form. You know, the thing about the um, San Diego Padres is normally throughout the year they're overvalued and they're overpriced and when you look at a line like this you may say well you know it's a coin flip price how are they overvalued how are they overpriced I just I still just think that this is a team that that tends to disappoint more often than not and I just really have no desire to back them especially when you Darvish has had his fair share of struggles in his career against the Giants I mean two starts last year gave up eight runs on 16 hits over 12 innings of work and it just it didn't it wasn't great for Darvish in those starts and uh I think that the Giants can get it done to start the season on a high note. So even the San Francisco Giants in this one, that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.